In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Chester. At number one, we have Chester Zoo. This is not just any zoo, it's one of the best in the world. With over 125 acres and more than 20,000 individual animals, the zoo offers a unique experience. The founder, George Motter's head, envisioned a zoo without bars, using natural barriers to contain animals, making it a humane and educational experience for all. At number two, we have the Chester Cathedral. This architectural marvel took nearly 500 years to complete and showcases every medieval English architectural style. The choir stalls, carved around 1380, are a must-see, featuring quirky characters and intricate designs. At number three, we have the Roman Amphitheater. This English heritage site was founded in the late 70s AD and was only discovered recently. Although only the northern quarter has been excavated, it gives a fascinating glimpse into Chester's Roman past. At number four, we have the Chester City Walls. These ancient walls have been standing since Roman times and offer a unique walking experience. The walls provide a panoramic view of Chester's historic skyline and half-timbered houses. At number five, we have the Grosvenor Museum. Located in a Renaissance revival building from 1886, the museum houses a wide range of artifacts, from Roman stelae to 19th century watercolor art. At number six, we have the Chester Rose. These are unique timber-framed galleries that offer a second line of shops above the main street level. They date back to 1293 and are unlike anything else in the world. At number seven, we have the Grosvenor Park. This Victorian park is one of the country's outstanding parks from this period. It features regimented lawns, flower beds, and even a miniature railway. At number eight, we have the River Dee. On warm days, the river is the perfect place to take a cruise, go kayaking, or simply enjoy the scenic views. At number nine, we have the Chester Roman Gardens. These gardens were laid out in 1949 and feature ancient architectural fragments from Roman times. At number 10, we have St. John the Baptist Church. This medieval church overlooks the River Dee and has architecture dating back to the 11th century. At number 11, we have the Chester Cathedral Falconry and Nature Gardens. This is a great place for kids, offering a chance to get up close and personal with birds of prey. At number 12, we have the Chester Cross. This red sandstone monument dates back to 1476 and stands at the junction of the city's main streets. At number 13, we have the Groves. This is a beautiful riverside promenade offering stunning views and a peaceful place to relax. At number 14, we have the Cheshire Military Museum. Located in a grade one listed building, the museum offers a deep dive into the military history of the region. At number 15, we have Eastgate and Eastgate Clock. This is Chester's most recognizable landmark and was designed to celebrate Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Chester. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.